Then I do this. This is my first time. Okay, be gentle. What's up, Mesa Falcons? It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, it has come to my attention that there is a Falcon legal and standard. And if there's one thing I've known since the dawn of Magic the Gathering, my early days and my first tournament ever, it's what a good Falcon looks like. And this is the coveted Falcon. More coveted than a Mesa Falcon? I struggle. I struggle to admit this. But coveted Falcon is a one blue blue one four artifact creature bird with flying. And when it attacks, you gain control of target permanent you own, but don't control. The disguise is one in a blue. And when coveted Falcon is turned face up, target opponent gains control of any number of target permanents you control. Draw a card for each one they gain control of this way. What is the point of such a ridiculous card? Well, the idea is to give our opponent something they don't want. What is a card that does this? Well, if you haven't been deep into the bowels of mythics in the set, the big score, then Greed's Gambit might not be on your radar, but it's there. It's three and a black for a mythic enchantment. And when it enters the battlefield, you draw three cards. You gain six life. You create three, two, one black bat creature tokens with flying. That is the most busted four mana card of all time. But wait, there's more. At the beginning of your end step, you discard a card, lose two life, and sacrifice a creature. Lame. Horrible. It slowly takes back all the things you got from casting it, starting with your own end step. That's not good. I'm sure we can just bounce it, sacrifice it, or remove it, right? And that will fix the problem. Oh, wait. When Greed's Gambit leaves the battlefield, you discard three cards. You lose six life. You sacrifice three creatures. It takes everything and more. So that's the problem with the card. But wait, what if we played this, made our bats, gained our life, and then gave the gambit to our opponent? And on their end step, they had to discard a card, sacrifice a creature. Eh? Lose two life? Eh? That's a win con. That's a wombo combo. So Greed's Gambit plus Coveted Falcon. Boom, bam, giving them things they don't want. There's something sick about that that Magic players love. The deck even has a way to bounce the Greed's Gambit, which would force the opponent to sack the creatures, lose the life, you know, and discard the cards. And it's Whale of Forgotten, which returns any target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Now, I don't run a ton of Whale of the Forgotten. I don't think it's a very good card in the meta. Two mana sorcery speed to bounce something is not good. You could run some other cards that for instant speed bounce things, but they're narrow. Frankly, bounce isn't quite where you want to be. Now, maybe I'd run Fading Hope, but it's rotating. And this, you're welcome, is a rotation-proof deck. So nothing here is going away when Bloomboro arrives. That's nice. Maybe Bloomboro will give us a sweet card to interact with the Gambit. We'll see. On that note, the rest of the deck is mostly mono black control. That's the meta we're in. Lots of removal, life gain from Deep Cavern Bat, Aklazot, Shildred the Apocalypse, Virtue of Persistence, so that we don't die to mono red. And I added, just to feel a little more blue, the Cryptic Coat. The Cryptic Coat comes in and cloaks the top card of your library. When you play the Coveted Falcon from hand, it's very clear what you're doing, right? Obviously, that's the card that you put in a deck with Greed's Gambit. Maybe the first time this happens, happens the opponent won't know but once this video is out they'll know so cryptic code is interesting because it cloaks the top card of your library if you're lucky you might get a falcon under there and they won't see it coming so cryptic coat made the cut i haven't played the card that much lately it seems like it might also be good against control so i'm willing to give it a shot here that's the introduction to the deck now remember the videos are brought to you by Ultimate Guard. So check out their new products, licensed with Bloomboro. Very excited about that. And CoolStuffInc.com, where you can buy Ultimate Guard stuff, actually. So use the promo code CGB5 when you shop, and you can combine all of my sponsors in a new nice, healthy shopping cart with a discount. So thank you to everybody who supports the sponsors of the show. Let's dive in. Let the Falcon nonsense begin. Is using the flip the bird that too cringy was it funny like the first time and now it's been done am i too late i don't care let's go 
Is it blue white control? I have played blue white control as my first game of the day like 20 times now. High noon. Cool. I'm sure that's nothing but fun. I cloak. Ha ha. Ha ha. No, no more lies. Meaning lots of lies. How this work? If they tap out, I can like hand them a tap land. Whoa! I would like to report a hater. It just depopulated. And turn face up, gain control of any number of permanents. Yeah, so I could hand them a tap land and then take it back if they'd tapped out. Hey. It's gonna be one of those games. All right, let's go to work. You know, some duress would be nice. Would go a long way. Smite me, eh? Giving up Celestis triggers just feels so bad, but here we are. Can I draw enough land? Is nine? Nine is a bit. Actually, hold up. I haven't drawn a non-land spell yet. <laughs> While my opponent jams a Teferi. Yep. So they can't cast another spell this turn, but I can attack them with the Reef and the Murex, but they'll have a play, right? They'll definitely have a play, so we do this now. It's tempting to make a Murex token, but while they can't cast a counter spell, we're shutting that down. They should attack me with Anchorage, if though. Oh, although I guess then I counter attack them with Reef. Ooh, okay. They're taking a counter attack from Reef. That's kind of something. You sure you wanted to do that? I mill you. Look at your wandering emperor. They have red mana. Great. Love that for me. Cut down is ready. There's probably not going to be a single creature in either deck other than the Falcon. What do you think? They got a counter spell here? Maybe they're flooded as well, right? Let's find out. This is the only spell. Nice. You're gonna no more lies it? No? Okay. Have one mana open. One mana open could definitely be a march. Let's do like this. I'm bringing my bird back. Yeah. What you gonna do about that? You're gonna main phase your memory deluge. I love that they have Celestis and they can never flip it off night. <laughs> that just cracks me up. <gasps> do we go for it? When it turned face up, target opponent gains control. That's not great for us. Yeah, I don't have a way to flip this back down right now, but I could go for the gambit just for the board presence. Sack the Falcon and discard land. Seems fine. Actually, it seems really fine. Counter? I can pay for no more lies. Aha! That feels good. Bird. Bird is the word. I discard this and I sacrifice you. Just get it back with virtue, baby. I expect a sweeper. It's been a while since I played High Noon. Oh, oh, oh two of them. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? We do have to watch out for 10 to the freaking dome, though, don't we? 
10 to the dome is a lot. Bird? Cacao! The bat. There is the bat. Let's turn face up. I mean, okay, we can't double spell, so I think we just have to go for this cloaked. But let's attack first and see if we draw a response from our opponent. Hi. How you doing? That is a spell on the stack. Okay. If I understand my Magic the Gathering cards... By the way, they took out the Might. No respect for the bats. Then I do this. This is my first time. Okay, be gentle. Oh, got him. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Ah, first try to a control deck. How embarrassing. Duress, bat, throat, acclazots. I mean, it's mono black. And that's mono red. New deck coming through. Please don't whiff. Thank you. Code broken. Zibat. Look at all your lands. <laughs> oh, they're playing off the top, so we can get extra salty when they draw perfect. They got something. What do they got? It's holding priority that they wouldn't kill this bat with. Net 12? Not gonna lie. I might just play this face up. 1 4. Bird is the word. Actually. <laughs> if I draw the gambit, I'm going to want this face down. And I think I can take another bump. I don't think they have anything useful. I don't think they have much useful. Maybe they're just holding a monstrous rage to counter a cut down. Ruckus. Okay. It's like 10. If they have a rage here, am I dead? That's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not dead. And they would be on nothing. So let's see what happens. Beautiful. Give it to him. I'm playing two removal spells. I still might need a blocker. Hold. Hold. Wait for it. Lightning strike. Uh, let's see. When it's turned face up, target opponent gains control of any number of permanents you control. So I can give them the bat. They're still going to strike it. This will have four power. It will kill. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, I, I have to get rid of it. And they're going to have a lightning strike, so I have to stop them. Ooh, they let go of that one. Let's see if we're going to lose the bat anyway. I swap it, draw, strike bat, hit for three, strike face. Let's see if I can get them to lightning strike my face here. If they all do it now before damage, that would be really fun. Nope, they won't. Be a bit too much of a gambit to pass priority there. <laughs> bit too much. Ooh, okay. Okay, um... Okay, if they strike my face, 
transform this draw three. How much will that be? One, two, three. So it'll be two. Yeah. I think we just drop this. Also, if they discard a card, I get a bat. Let's go, baby. Do not draw another lightning strike. That would be BS. That would be mono red protecting BS. And wizards, you know better. You know better. You would never. That's six life and three cards. And we have the bird. Combat first. Does that affect? Does that happen? Do I get four life? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Leave the bat alone. Okay. Sure. I do not get the life, but they are going to lose. No, they have to strike me, right? Strike me. You have to strike me. There you go. Ooh. Guys, if we don't draw this land, I guess we're gaining six. All right, we risk it. Woo! Enjoy! And come bearing gifts. Oh my gosh, this is way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's a combination. Look at them scrambling. Look at their brain going into overdrive. The steam coming out of the ears as they try to figure this one out. That's, that's, I mean, that's the play. And that's the play. It's good stuff. It, it is a use it or lose it. Hi. Hi. We're all here for you. No damage taken. Now we just let the gambit do its job. Attack you? I would never. Place your bets, guys. How many turns? How many turns do you think they have in them of taking this gambit? I drop this bat. Nice play. Godric, cool. Bat God returns. Could just take it with the bat, but I kind of like them squirming, trying to make something happen here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. They didn't even need to see my go for the throat. <laughs> That is way easier and more effective than I expected. Hello, hello, welcome one and all to CGB's Yorian Emporium and Magic Sensei Cabana Dojo. I am your host, the one and only Covert Go Blue. The ultimate in card protection is now a proud partner of the dojo. Introducing Ultimate Guard. Behold, black cortex sleeves from Ultimate Guard. Precise inner sleeves from Ultimate Guard. We have a mock sapphire, conservatively priced at $5,000. Three, two, one. Why, 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 why? why? Whether you're a casual kitchen table conjurer or grandmaster mage, deck protection is essential for absolutely everybody. And CGB's You're in Emporium, we don't just sell gear, we sell victories. Whoa! Oh my god! And remember, with Ultimate Guard, you have to sleeve it to believe it. On the play with Cutdown, so naturally, our opponent will be a control mage. Those are as controlly sleeves as I've seen. Those are cool sleeves, though. 
That's fine. We'll just spam Mirix. If you put a five drop in your deck, opening hand, baby. Opening hand. Come on, Mono Red. Show me your squip. We've reached that phase where everybody's just a little deceiver. All right, Kumano. But there's no way. There is no way. They play Bloodthirsty Adversary or Felden. There's no way they have a 3 3 here. Impossible. Okay. Show off. Can't wait to see what happens here. This is going to be a tough one. Okay, guys, come on now. Calm down. Okay. Actually, serve me up some cut down fodder. Am I just going to slam this gambit? I'm slamming this gambit. This is where I'm at. Yeah, it's got to be you. We did draw the Falcon. It's happening. Expect Mono Red to be able to hold up three mana so they can play with fire. I doubt it. Oh, wait a minute. Like, Morphing doesn't use the stack, right? So if I get this down, they can't be like, play with fire, pay the ward. I mean, even with the ward trigger, I can respond with this, right? If I flip this, the trigger goes on the stack, but it's already a 1-4. I think that's how it works. That's kind of insane. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. You want some? Come get some. I think it's like this. Hello. How is this so easy? I've done it three times in a row now. All right. <laughs> I've got a one four. Bottom red doesn't know how to handle that anyway. You've got Greed's Gambit. They drew a spell. That's and that's the spell you want to draw. I've got the Whale of the Forgotten for the combo. Just don't die here. There's no way they kill me here, right? Right? I've got like 19 total health when you add this toughness. Uh, okay. You gonna play with fire as well? Or what? <laughs> oh my god. Look at them burning down the falcon. That's crazy. All right, I go to four. Lose something. Big choices. So. When this leaves the battlefield, discard three, lose six, sacrifice three. It just doesn't get much better than that, right? It, so I could bounce this, play it again, gain the life back. Oh my God. Oh my God, no, not like this. I'll take it. The end of the world. Oh, baby, let's go again. Oh, baby. I mean, that's enough. That is enough underground rivers. Thank you. Now I have to not die. And I've got life gain. That god. Hmm? Duress you? Okay. Discard land. Attack you. Down to five. Let's see if I am done in by my greed. Because we had this. Oh, looks like we're going to get there. Cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. Go me. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a coat. Oh! Opponent! What if you had drawn a lightning strike? Oh wait, I'm, what if I forgot to attack? Well, this is the most fun I've had in a while. Stop 
the show end the video get out while there's still time there's no way it gets better right we can't just be out here winning games flipping birds I, surely surely the shuffler will put an end to this i mean look at this hand it's over we have no chance right no chance at all but we have to keep it because it's a cut down meta Ooh, life gain or esper control what do you got esper control esper control uh three steps you're out it's card draw and it's counter magic that we can't play around yeah final showdown holds priority Your go. Come on, land. Come on, land. Let me Mirix this into oblivion. Yeah. You hate to drop your Mirix. What if they drop a field of ruin in their Esper deck, which I've seen plenty of. Don't tell me it doesn't happen. Riveting gameplay. Why wouldn't it be the third go for the throat? Of course it's going to be the third go for the throat. Of course they drew Memory Deluge. I I don't want to play a game where I'm missing land drops and they're casting Memory Deluge. I'm going to find a new opponent. We knew it had to end somewhere, but guys, like there is a probably two or three percent chance we win that game and i do not care i cannot be bothered at this stage in the format there's there's nothing to be gained by spending time on this game who's next uh yeah we can we can keep this let's see what happens a little duress what you playing what are you playing artifacts we got the glyph. We got two extruders. If I take one and bat the other. This dies to go for the throat. This dies to cut down if I play it right. Okay. The glyph though. Is the glyph the best card here? Is this my only chance to get it? That's the question, right? You can't go for the throat it. You can't cut it down. It has to be you. Glyph decks are weird. I do not in any way get the appeal. When I play this card, I get two for one. When my opponents play this card, they just smash, smash to victory. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Is duress that tilting? Are these the lightweights we deal with now in arena? He says after scooping on turn four of the last game. Shut up. Shut up, comments. Now, I would love to cut that down, but then I can't get rid of the Drake. When an artifact enters, put a counter on a pirate. Uh-huh. Out of there. So, first bat's gonna die. Malcolm. Now ah, they have a nice double spell coming up, too. Well, I just make this be the second spell by taking it here, right? <laughs> They're gonna your go me? Me? Yeah. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact, okay. 
We can hold. We can wait for the commitment. They have extruded. This is on Drake, so they can't cast Malcolm. Oopsie. Maybe if they weren't in such a hurry. No, they're not going for the sack clue line. Pretty good, pretty good. Oof. My hand is not coming together. Playing a cloaked creature, they can play extruder, but that does take their whole turn. We could also drop the bat. Yeah, I think we've got to gain some life back. Oh, they drew another one. That's some BS. Well. Pretty sure we can't win. Like, they just have too much value here. The engine is very powerful. Okay. <laughs> nice top decks. <laughs> yeah, top decking perfect curve is perfect. I think I've seen enough of this one. Uh, no, 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 no. I told you it was all downhill from here. I wasn't lying. Got to protect the winning record. Got to go first. Got to have good hand. Can't do either. <laughs> Impossible. Uh, Mo. Okay. I guess. Maybe a shield rig can do the job. <laughs> Maybe we can draw things that fit our curve. Maybe we get soloed by a Bronco. If I get soloed by a freaking Bronco with the amount of removal in this deck. Beautiful. Just on time. We got Shieldred at our doorstep too. And it comes down before our Gambit, which is nasty. Oh no. Come on, miss your land drop. Do me a favor. One time. One time. I hate magic cards. All right, no go for the throat one time. No go for the throat. When I, win, you're me what you know. I guess technically I got my wish. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Come on. Deck, why? Come on. This is gonna feel great. Okay. Throw it in the house, but no untapped land. Okay. Uh, hard mode. Hard mode for sure. Oh, long goodbye. Long goodbye is a disaster, actually. Although they might use it here. If we get it out of them, because long goodbye doesn't have to pay ward cost. Would have been nasty. I guess I drop the other gambit. One's enough. The opponent's holding something though. We have to discard a card. We play the falcon face down. The opponent's gonna absolutely lay on it. Let's play the bat. <laughs> Another one. All right, well, sacrifice. Discard. <laughs> Feels bad. If I just hold the bat there, yeah, discard the bat, 
then we aren't in this position. But the opponent just goes Liliana into Liliana. So while my play was wrong, the outcome's the same. You won't be Maybe they wouldn't go Liliana into Liliana. That would be kind of weird though. Because they definitely should. I'm going to slam a Gix. This is going to hurt. She's out. This isn't how things were supposed to go. Okay, we have to draw the bird. Hello? Anything? Sit there. Great. Uh, go to two. Still another turn to draw the bird, right? We've got a reef to try to block Gix, but we're dead to a go for the throat. Uh-huh. May as well. Eh. Ooh. Okay. This is fun. We have to cloak the bird. It's the only way. Eh? Ah, it's duress. Lame. Well, Arena reset us pretty hard, didn't they? But that was seriously just because they got Shieldred down first, I think. Oh my god, do, do not, do not drop below 500 after that start. It was such a good start. We gotta focus up, but that's okay. We're definitely due to go first and not Mulligan. Definitely. Okay, okay, this is beautiful. We got this. We definitely got this. Take their Kimono faces Kakazan. Or their case, sure. Interesting. Looks like humans, but with case? And they top a one drop. <laughs> what a freaking pro. They're going to get birded so hard. So they have a Ganjo. So they're going to attack right into this. Let's just play face down for the ward. Like it's tempting to play the one for, but that ain't it. Yeah, weird. I would not make that trade. That? I guess so. <laughs> all right. Why wouldn't they draw all of them? They play the Aganjo. Oh, because they drew the perfect card. Of course. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they top deck that? Okay, cool. Love that. No land? No land. Freaking hate magic sometimes, man. No, <laughs> still no land. Four birds, three lands. Four falcons, three lands. Keep it together. 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 Okay, I'm fine. 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 Can they get rid of the freaking smiley face, frowny face survey? It's really triggering. They should really only have it for one week. One week only should be your first freaking week 
playing the game or when a new set comes out that was the only times they should show it the rest of the time is hell on earth we all know it well that's a combo hand keep well this looks completely miserable to play with I guess it should be one of the virtues. The Kai is so far away that we're going to get rid of it later. It's going to be fine. Yeah, nothing to do. Nothing to do. Any removal spells in my deck? Zibat. Zabat. Frickin' Shieldred, man. Get that card out of my life. It messes with my gambit. Zabat. Again. Again. We gambit. We are on curve, baby. This is a little risky. This is definitely a case where the opponent could blow up the gambit if they have the right card. That's a lot of gambit, actually. I'm bleeding value. Man, Kaya targeting Gambit would be something. What a game that could be. Easy blocks. We're trying to get action out of them. Just get them to cast something. Make sure that the Falcon happens. Yeah, drop your virtue. Drop your virtue. Oh, a sunfall. That works. I love that. Have this enchantment and enjoy. It's yours. Don't forget to play your children. A new conundrum. How to play with Gambit on the field. Something I still haven't really figured out. <laughs> I definitely punted it in a few of those games. Okay, that is a card you can play. They missed the land drop. Getting to Kaya is becoming very unlikely. I mean, when it attacks, gain control target permanent you own, but don't control. What? I think I'm just gonna play another one. <laughs> That's my big plan. Is it a May? <laughs> that would be what we call an oopsie. Nope, 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 nope. No farewells here. Nope. <laughs> oh, that was, that was scary. That almost happened. 
Show me the untapped land. Make me feel feelings. Sure. The farewell is back on the menu. Another board wipe off the top. Like it was nothing. The thing is, if they name enchantments and these leave the battlefield, they lose a lot of life. So, let's make it difficult. Whee! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Not like this. <laughs> no! <laughs> Another board wipe. It's an all board wipe deck. Goodbye to your hand, though. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Where's my survey? Now give me the survey. You won't, will you? They wouldn't do it. The Mesa Falcon of the day is Megan Grayston. Megan, you're cool. And thank you for the support by hitting join. You guys, hit join. Support the channel if you like all the content coming out. If you like daily videos. Let's talk. Let's talk about numbers. Let's adjust the settings. Let's flip the script. Days working out. Ugh! So hard to take the cap off this marker. Days working out. Five. I'm, that's insane. You can tell, right? You can tell how swole I'm getting. Just, just say it. Just say it. Days without a salty outburst. Again, I know that this sounds like gaslighting. I'm not gaslighting you. I'm dead serious. I'm being honest. Some of you know this. You've watched long enough to know this. What you saw in today's video, as close as it sounds to a salty outburst, is still, it's, 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 trust me. Trust me, you'll know when it's there. You'll know. You've got to believe me. I'm not gaslighting you. This is five days without a salty outburst. Zero things were thrown. Zero things were broken. Zero cuss words were screamed. It's fine. Everything's fine. Trust me. Trust me. Streak 2.0. 911 days. Cursed number. We don't need to talk about it. But impressive, nonetheless. This deck, what can I tell you about this beautiful, beautiful Greed Lord deck? I don't know if you need the Cryptic Coats. Cryptic Coat is the card that mostly got slotted into the deck to make me feel like the blue mana wasn't just there for the Falcon, that there was another use for blue mana in the deck. And uh, other than that, it, this is a solid best of one deck. Look, the best. The best, best of one decks, we're talking about like a 60% win rate. If you can do something close to a 50% win rate with a somewhat meme deck like this, it's a solid best of one deck. This is a solid best of one deck, unless I just got lucky for the games that I won, which on a small sample size of seven games is always possible. So be careful crafting, all right? They, they are mythic wild cards, but this is a rotation proof build. So it will not change when Bloomboro releases unless it gets some hot new cards added to it. There might be some. I If I say anything more than that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get got. You know. You know. Thank you for watching this video. You stayed till the end. That's the number one thing you can do for the channel. So top it off. Hit like, hit subscribe. Check out the sponsors, Ultimate Guard, CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code CGB5 when you shop at CoolStuffInc.com. Buy stuff there from Ultimate Guard. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. You're cool.